Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Uh, welcome to the unit 3 uh, of uh, computer aided drug design uh, related to BPharm 8th semester. In this unit, uh, we will be uh, seeing about uh, molecular modeling and uh, virtual screening techniques. Uh, the previous uh, units are available in the description box and the notes are also available in Amazon Kindle, uh, which you can uh, purchase also. In this unit, we are going to see the virtual screening techniques that is uh, drug likeness screening, the concept of pharmacophore mapping, pharmacophore based uh, screening, molecular docking, uh, rigid docking, flexible docking, manual docking, docking based screening and de, de novo drug design. Let us enter into the chapter. What is molecular modeling? Molecular modeling is the understanding of the fundamental concepts of the structure activity relationships and to elucidate the mechanism of action of drugs. That is the drug receptor interactions are used in research. So the applications of molecular modeling, it is useful in generation of chemical structures, make 3D structures, make bond, break bond, uh, delete atom, put chiral center and visualize the molecular geometry. Molecular structure visualization is one of the applications of uh, molecular modeling. Uh, it visualizes the molecular structure and interactions in the 3D space. It helps in generation of confirmation of ligands, modeling uh, drug receptor interactions, determination of the molecular properties uh, such as molecular mechanics, molecular uh, dynamics, quantum mechanics. Uh, it is useful in determination of uh, drug excipient uh, interactions. It is useful in uh, QSAR studies, lead generation and pharmacophore mapping. What is a drug likeness screening? Uh, that is, we screen the lead molecules whether it is having a druggable property. Most of the drug candidates uh, fail in the clinical trials due to pharmacokinetic or uh, toxicity limitations. The drug likeness screening actually identifies the small molecules that is the ligands that have the potential to develop as a drug-like candidate. The drug likeness screening includes the following uh, things. One is simple counting method. The structural properties of the potential drug candidates such as lipophilicity, molecular weight, charges can be identified using the computational tools and the online resources. One of it I have given uh, PKCSM, functional group filters. This filters the reactive functional groups, toxic or incompatible uh, compounds that could be identified by computational databases, panacea interference compounds that is paints. Then there is topological uh, filter. Databases are available to find the structural motifs and pharmacophore uh, topographies of uh, small molecules uh, that char characterize the drug like candidates. Pharmacophore filters, they filter the structural motifs with uh, functional groups called uh, pharmacophores. The specific interactions of the drug like candidates uh, with the biological site is identified. Then uh, they may ask what is Lipinski's rule of 5? It is also called RO5. Uh, that is, uh, you can remember it as multiple of phi. It evaluates the drug likeness uh, properties of orally active drugs in humans and describes the molecular properties important for drug pharmacokinetics. It should obey the, these rules uh, with not more than one violation to the following criteria. Not more than 5 hydrogen bond donors. No more than 10 hydrogen bond acceptors. A, a molecule should not uh, have uh, more than uh, 10 hydrogen uh, bond acceptors. A molecular mass uh, should be less than 500 Daltons and octanol uh, water partition coefficient log P should not exceed 5. So Lipinski, Gauss and Weber rules. The other rules are Gauss and Weber rules, Muge rules. They state uh, most molecules with uh, good cell membrane permeability should have log P less than 5, molecular weight uh, less than 500 Daltons, hydrogen bond acceptors less than 10, hydrogen bond donors less than 5, Total polar surface area TPSA less than 140 Armstrongs and number of rotatable bonds uh, in, an, uh, in a molecule should be less than uh, 10 and the number of atoms uh, in a molecule should be between 20 to 70. Uh, what is virtual screening? It's the process of computational analysis of large compound collections in order to prioritize the compounds for synthesis or assay. The objective of a virtual screening is exploration of uh, virtual uh, chemical space of uh, small organic molecules to synthesize and or screen against target protein and to get the highest chance to develop uh, from a ligand to a drug candidate. 
it is also called in silico drug design you can uh, see the picture uh, the, you can define the virtual screening techniques you can use this diagram uh, it is uh, of two types uh, ligand based screening and structure based screening if the uh, target protein is unknown you can go with the ligand based screening uh, that is subdivided into similarity searching and pharmacophore mapping if the target protein is identified it is known then you can go for structure based screening that is called protein ligand docking then uh, this schematic representation tells from a compound database you can go for uh, structure based virtual screening or uh, uh, ligand based virtual screening uh, you can go with molecular docking or pharmacophore uh, search uh, you can bind the ligand with the receptor which forms a binding complex and selection of compounds for evaluation you can measure the molecular properties and you can identify the best uh, ligand which could get emerged as a, a drug candidate so what are the formats of uh, 2d molecular structures it is available as image file graph theory and connection table what is docking docking is automated uh, computer algorithm that determines how a compound will bind to its active site uh, that's the protein it includes orientation of the compound its conformational geometry and scoring in docking uh, different conformations are generated with uh, different poses and computational score for each pose what are the different types of docking uh, one is uh, blind docking when the active site of the protein is unknown the searching of the binding site uh, uh, is uh, made through the blind docking direct docking when the site of the binding there is a binding pocket is known that is you may get the protein from the protein data bank uh, it is called direct docking then rigid docking it's uh, it includes uh, both the ligand and protein are considered as rigid bodies both of them then don't move semi flexible docking in this uh, protein is kept rigid whereas the ligand is allowed to move to bind with its pocket induced fit uh, or fully flexible docking both the ligand and protein are treated as flexible molecules ensemble docking it is used for docking of larger databases what are the search algorithms in molecular docking uh, systematic search method it is also called uh, combinatorial explosion the conformations of molecule are systematically assigned values to torsional angles and rotatable bonds stochastic or random search algorithms are metropolis uh, monte carlo scheme it, uh, it in this uh, boltzmann factor structures with uh, new lower energies are generated and the stimulated annealing version is used for post generation of ligands genetic algorithms these are set of computational uh, problem solving approaches a chromosome modeled uh, parameter similar to gene recombination and mutation are generated and the next algorithm is a taboo search algorithm which is applicable for already explored areas of conformational space what is scoring in uh, docking scoring refers to ranking of docked conformations of the ligand which uh, is best conformation of the ligand with the lowest binding energy with the target receptor uh, potential that is uh, c plus pole and uh, tot pole 2 the different docking softwares uh, which are known to you they may ask a question like this uh, i have listed some of them one is uh, the famous uh, schrodinger glide uh, grid ligand based uh, uh, docking with energetics the algorithm used is uh, monte carlo method scoring term is glide advantages lead discovery and uh, lead optimization autodoc it uh, uses a lamarckian genetic algorithm uh, the scoring term is empirical it is very easy to understand and user friendly gold it is genetic optimization for ligand docking it uses uh, genetic algorithm uh, the scoring is uh, gold score automatic overlapping between protein and ligand isom doc it is lamarckian uh, genetic algorithm and similar to autodoc highly significant in the post screening analysis what is post prediction in molecular docking uh, prediction of the molecules binding mode accurately is called post prediction which pose is the best binding pose pose refers to the molecules conformation and orientation of the receptor target binding site Pose of different conformations could be visualized by visualizing uh, software such as Discovery Studio, Mastro. Uh, Mastro actually it is from Schrodinger. Actually, actually for visualization it is free. Then calculation of binding energies, root mean square deviation, and interaction energies are analyzed the poses. What are the applications of molecular docking? Lead optimization, hit identification, drug protein, and DNA interaction. 
what is de novo drug design de novo means uh, you mm, that is drug design uh, from the start afresh it is from the beginning is called scratch if you start uh, the drug design from the start it is called de novo drug design uh, so you may identify what are the proteins you may identify different ligands you can study the binding and you can come to a uh, drug design conclusion this type of uh, uh, design is called de novo drug design then pharmacophore poros means a molecular framework pharmaco means a biological activity it is the pattern of abstract features of a molecule collection of electronic and steric features that is required to ensure the optimal uh, supramolecular interactions with a specific biological target and to trigger or block the biological response the 3d pharmacophore modeling is useful in 3d qsr studies uh, 3d database uh, searching and de novo drug design and lead optimization applications of uh, pharmacophore mapping and modeling it is useful in predicting the that is absorption distribution metabolism uh, toxicity properties useful in identification of possible interactions of drugs with the metabolizing enzymes the enzymes studied for admit uh, by pharmacophores are cyp450 enzymes which approximately metabolize 90 percent of the drugs then they may ask what is homology modeling Homology modeling predicts 3D structure of a given protein sequence that is the target protein based on alignment to one or more known protein structures that is the templates. If you don't know the protein structure, you can go for homology modeling. Generally, 30% sequence identity is required to generate a useful model if the target sequence and template sequences are identified. So it's a very short uh, natural information of virtual screening. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. All the units are available in the description box. Uh, kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics uh, channel. Uh, if you want notes also, it is available in Amazon Kindle. I have given in the description box. You can purchase it. Uh, make use of it and score well. Thank you.